In this 5 minute video, I will show you how to resolve slight color differences in your project. So I've been working on this particular scene of the Blend Manifesto and it was so much work that uh, luckily we had some super awesome people help out to get this project done. So in this scene there's this ball that turns into a document, that document turns into fireworks, shoots up in the air and then explodes. So a friend of mine, Austin, has actually been working on this explosion and let's import his project. So I actually have been working with this main color palette over here. So I know for sure that if I colored something red, it will be exactly this red color value. But I'm not quite sure what Austin has been using in his project. So I want to make sure that the colors that he used are exactly the same colors that I have in my main color palette before I import his project into my scene. So we can do this by creating a new color palette from the fireworks scene. And before I create a color palette, um, I see that there's a lot of compositions in here. So there's one thing that I need to turn on, and that's recurse nested comps. And this will make sure that Ray Dynamic Color is also looking inside of compositions that are within my selection for color properties. Because some of these elements might also have colors that you want to add to the color palette. So let's go back to the fireworks comp and select all the layers and create a new color palette from those layers. Let's call that fireworks. Cool, so now Raiden and color is going through every single layer to find color properties to add to the color palette. And it will also look in compositions and add those color properties that it finds in there to the color palette. And this may take a while, but once it's done, it says 10 colors were linked to the color palette fireworks. Okay, so let's have a look. So I already see that even in this composition itself, there's two colors that are slightly different because they didn't end up in the same color swatch. So let's have a look at those two color values and see if they match up. So let's look at this and this one. So it seems like this one is uh, here, the green value is 254 and in this color property, the value is 255. Now I'm not quite sure which color is the right one, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to overwrite these colors with the main color palette so that they're exactly the same colors as the main color palette. What I'll need is a copy of my original color. So I'm going to open up this color palette, copy this layer that has the correct colors, then go back to the fireworks composition, open it up and then paste that layer in this scene. And I'm just going to give the fireworks colors uh, a red label. So we know that those are the wrong colors. And I'm going to take this color palette and move it down a little bit so we can see and compare the colors. So I want to take the colors that are right and match the order of the color palette that is wrong because then I can swap out the bad colors for the right ones. So I have to reorder these uh, color controls here. So red goes uh, as the first position and then yellow the second. And I'm, I'm actually really fast at this. I, I practice a lot. And when I get to the green color, I duplicate this one because I need it for number eight as well. Great, so all the colors are in the correct order now. And if you look closely to one, two, and three, you can actually see that they're slightly different from the colors that we've been using in the main color palette. So this can either happen because the colors were picked from an image that had a compression on it, or you had like a different monitor with different monitor settings, or simply because there's an effect that's on top of everything, like a noise, and it would slightly tweak the colors that you're trying to pick. Now that we have the correct colors in the fireworks color palette, we can just delete the wrong colors. Okay, so now both color palettes have the same colors, they're just in a different order. So I want to merge these two color palettes together. I can do that by selecting the fireworks composition and then linking all the colors to the main color palette. So I go over to random color and select the right color palette, blend manifesto, and then click on link. And now Raiden and McCuller goes through every single color property in the fireworks composition. So it's going to link all the color properties to the Blend Manifesto color palette. And because they're the same colors, they'll, they'll sync up. So this may take a while, but after they're synced up, 144 colors were linked to this color palette, Blend Manifesto. And you can delete this color palette now. And you can be 100% sure that all the colors that are used here are the exact same colors that are used in the main color palette. I hope you learned something new. If you want to stay up to date on the latest tutorials, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you have a request for a tutorial, find the link in the description and fill out the form. I would love to hear from you.